Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy AV. Today we're gonna to be comparing the Disney Store Jesse and the Toy Story Signature Collection Jesse from Thinkway. So I would really like to compare the boxes, but unfortunately I do not any longer have the Disney Store Jesse box, but I will show you a picture of it just so you see the differences here. First of all, the box on the front and back are very different than Disney Store box that I am showing you right now through a picture has a lot more on here and doesn't have the extra logos like the Thinkway Company logo and that logo, the Signature Collection logo. Obviously does not come with a certificate of authenticity like this one, it says a lot more than the Disney Store Jesse. And here it says deluxe film replica, actual movie size. And this is interactive, so it has a mode where uh, you like flip a switch somewhere on her and uh, you talk to her and she interacts with you. Now, I could honestly care less for the, that kind of feature. I've always, you know, didn't really care for that feature even as a kid. So that's just one thing I like to point out. All right, straight out of the box, what I can notice is that the Disney Sword Jesse is significantly taller and much bigger than the Signature Collection. Now, if the Signature Collection is true with what they say about this being the actual movie size, then the Signature Collection Jesse is gonna win this round on the size. Another thing I'm gonna point out is that the skin tone for Disney Store Jesse is definitely off. Now, this is not a 2024 edition to Jesse. Now, this is an older model and, oh, oops. Like I was saying, the skin tone for the Disney Store Jesse here is off. I will say that the 2024 version of the Disney Store Jesse is a lot better with its uh, skin tone. The Signature Collection Jesse, on the other hand, has a much more better, well-defined skin tone. One thing I will point off right off the bat that I'm noticing about her face, though, that's a bit off, is the eyebrows. Her eyebrows are red, but in the movie, they are more of a dark brown color. And here, the Disney Store kind of hit the mark on that one. Personally, I will say that I like the belt buckle to Signature Collection Jesse a lot better than the Disney Store. That has a bit more detail, and I like the coloring shade a bit better than that one. The buttons on like the cuffs and the shirt here for the Disney Store Jesse, I don't know what it is, but in some certain lights, they look gray, like on the front of them. Like, they don't look white like the movie. As for the Signature Collection Jesse, they're a lot better on the buttons there. Not perfect, but they're much better than the Disney Store. The hat on the Disney Store Jesse is just shameful. I do not like the color of red they went for here. Do not really like this color. Now, it does have a peg right here that you can like fit into a hole on her head so it so the hat sits on her he head properly. I will give them props for that. That 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 was actually uh, pretty smart. Another thing I want to point out about the Disney Store Jesse's hat that is a complete flaw to me is that the stitching here is not even real stitching. It's just part of the hat. It's all plastic and honestly, I feel like this hat is just a complete flop compared to the signature collection hat. Now the signature collection hat. I have to say that I love the shade of red here a lot better and I actually like that they have a more accurate stitching here. Now it's not 100% movie accurate because in the movie it's a polyvinyl stitching for her hat. They use a cotton thread stitch here and honestly I prefer this over Disney Store Jesse hat. The coloring's a lot better. What's different to keep her hat in place is there's no peg but there's a string here which isn't movie accurate but I kind of like it a lot better and you like put it under her hair right here for the hat to hold on her head properly. Now, I don't notice it from the front. Honestly, the Signature Collection hat is gonna have to win for this round. Another win here for the Signature Collection, Jesse. I absolutely love that she came with a certificate of authenticity. Really love it, signed by John Lasseter right here, the director. And she also comes with a stand that is true to a Woody's Roundup design, which is what I absolutely loved about the Toy Story Signature Collection line, is that they came with their own stands for the dolls. The Disney Store Jesse doll, though, did not come with her own stand. I had to literally buy one off eBay just to have this one stand. I will say I love the cow print jocks here for Jesse, even though I don't really care for the material, but it's a lot better than what we got here for the Disney Store Jesse because there's glitter on here, and I honestly don't know why they decided to do that. Sometimes glitter just falls off and gets stuck on my hand, and I don't really like it, and honestly, she didn't have glitter on her jocks in the movie series. The Disney Store Jesse here has a very inaccurate pull string ring, And she also has a very different voice box than Signature Collection, like different voices, different phrases.
For the signature collection, Jessie, she has a much more accurate full string ring, which is what I never really got between her and Woody in the signature collection series because Woody's full string ring in the signature collection series was a lot bigger than this one, which I don't understand why they didn't give him the same one as Jessie. I guess we'll never understand that, but she has a she also has a different set of phrases here. Oops. Now I'm not really gonna judge the voice box phrases or anything because in Toy Story 2, 3, and 4, we didn't really we don't really know what her voice box says. I mean I would assume that she would have a slow retract voice box, which well none of them have, but I will say that the pole string ring for signature collection Jesse is a lot more accurate than Disney Store Jesse. The ponytail, on the other hand, I'm gonna have to give to the Disney Store Jesse because her ponytail here is a lot more slim than the signature collection here, which is what I liked about the Disney Store version. Overall, the material on the dolls here are very different from like the shirt, the pants, and just everything. But if you guys wanna know who the real winner is, I am gonna have to give the real win here to signature collection Jessie. I overall just love her better. You guys in the comments, let me know who you think is better, the Disney Store Jessie or the signature collection Jessie. Well guys, you have made it to the end of my video if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like comment down below and please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a single video this has been your boy ab out peace out rainbow trouts